Welcome to the Monday Night Matchup. Today we have a competitive match between the Eldar and the Custodes. So today I'm bringing a lot of jet bikes. I have Shining Spears. I know you don't see Shining Spears a lot in the Eldar armies right now, but they're a lot of fun and I use them to screen. Um, I use them to get up into the opponent's uh, face right off the bat. Hopefully my strategy works out against these tough as you know what custodies so it's going to be interesting in the eldar list today we have a few units that are very common for competitive play and a few that you don't see all the time like the guardians but two units of shining spears not always seen on that tabletop as well as a falcon deep strike and some dire avengers what's up this is justin from another knights gaming today i'm bringing the empress chosen we're going to be kicking and stomping some eldar in justin's list today he's taken the almighty on Eagle jet bike unit. He only has one with six in that unit. He's also taking two Achilles Dreadnoughts, an interesting choice and very fun to see, as well as two units of Sagittarum, and of course, all led by Trajan. The mission we're doing today is the scouring, simple hold one, hold two, or hold more than your opponent, as well as getting three additional points at the end of the game for each objective marker you scan. For the secondaries, the Eldar took Warp Ritual, grind them down and retrieve Nephilim data, while the Custodes taking assassination, grind them down and psychic interrogation. With both these armies having capabilities of denying psychic interrogation and warp ritual, it's gonna be very interesting to see if they can deny each other a lot of points in that, as well as both taking grind them down, only one can kill. So let's see who it is. Let's get to the match. Rematch now. Rematch. Um, I got my custodies. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kick your butt against your Eldar, you little oh. space elves. You saw these guys on the um, live stream. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I'll, I'll let you know that when you talk about bad matchups, I've only been playing against Eldar. <laughs> Whether it be Eldar or El or um, clowns, that's all I've been playing with. So you I'm an expert in taking out knives, mm. knife ears. Okay. So let's get this on. Let's do it. Three. Five. I shall let. Hmm. I'll let you deploy first. How did you know I wanted that? Eldar will be deploying first and the web gate goes down right away. It's an Eldar web gate. Yep. And now you see why I did not take Warp Ritual. <laughs> yes, the webway gate's down. I am not doing the cheesy, put them two inches apart from each other or right on top of each other. Um, I know it's legal. I just don't do it. I do have two CP mm -hmm. to start. Well, I'm not gonna have any CP when this is all said and done, but those two CP, I'm gonna spend one CP on putting 21 power level into reserve. Mm -hmm. The reason I can do that for one CP is because of the, the gate. Uh -huh. It's gonna it's gonna make it half rounding down. So three will become one. Mm -hmm. And the other CP is getting spent on my Banshees for a web strike so they can deep strike anywhere pretty oh much. My God. And then I have six um, Dire Avengers inside the Falcon, which has Cloud Strike, does not count towards the Deep Strike. I'll make it nice and simple for you. Nothing's in reserve. Oh, What nice. you see is what you get, and yep. what you see is going to be on the table, nice. like a real custodian. My list is based off the one I brought to TGX. Well, it's exactly the same. It's a very defensive list, lots of bikes, lots of missiles going to be out of nowhere, and Mr. Trajan Valoris is going to be giving rerolls to everybody. So expect this defensive list to do some good killing. The Sagittarum coming up front there on the objective with Trajan while Claudio puts in the Wind Riders and two units of Shining Spears behind cover, hoping to get them in range in the first turn and get some shots off, as well as those Farseers surrounding and Baharoth right in the middle, while the first Achilles Dreadnought comes down behind cover in the middle, as well as the Dawn Eagle Jet Bike unit, and the second Achilles Dreadnought comes in behind cover while the Wraith Lord also matches him behind cover. Oh, I am forced to go first. You are. Oh, I dread, I dread this. Come close to me, please. <laughs> I, please do, because I can't, you're out of range. <laughs> Justin wins the roll off. He's going to go first. He's got to get these units in range to shoot some of these bikers down. I know that his Eldar has a lot of short range shooting, so I'm able to put myself out in the open, but far enough so that I can not get shot. So for my Marshal Kata, I'm going to choose Callistus Stance 2. Mm -hmm. What that means is if I advance, I count stationary yeah. for the next movement phase. Cool. Justin moves the Praetors towards the middle of the board, being careful to stay behind buildings for that line of sight. And he also moves a unit of 
custodian guards up on the objective behind some crates on the right side of the board. The first squad in the back, these yes. guys here, who mm -hmm. are going to suffer the dense cover penalty, yeah. they're going to shoot into the warlocks here. Okay. They're going to get the reroll from Trajan to mm -hmm. reroll one to hit and reroll nice. one to wound. Nice. Chapter Masters. Hitting on threes. Yep. Trajan gives those rerolls. But I'm going to use my Empress Chosen reroll to reroll this two here. Okay, so, so two. Gone. So all hit. And then I need threes to wound. Yep. Rerolling ones because oh, Mr. Yeah. Trajan's there. Trajan, Chapter Master. Even better than Chapter Master. So six saves at AP minus one, two damage each. So it's going to be their invuln. Uh, and this will just pop them. Oop. So I have a four up at least. Okay, so two go through. You're going to pop that unit. Oh, nice. Great start for Justin. Picking out those warlocks. They weren't behind cover. They're gone. Hey, I see two warlocks over there. They're not character. So down they go. He, I thought I positioned those warlocks a lot better. He came around the right side or the left side on his board and just got line of sight of those two warlocks. That sucks. Everything from these three dudes are going into your shining spears. Okay. Minus one to hit. Let's light them up. The first unit of Sagittar shooting into the shining spears, they do suffer minus one. So popping you on threes because your toughness four. I am toughness four. Strength five bolt guns and two damage. They are very nice. So then you just wipe that unit. There's three guys. Oh in that unit. man! It's three guys in this unit, so they just go bye bye. I'm on a roll today. <laughs> That's the second unit killed for Justin early on here. Those shining spears go down. I have a feeling that I had to be aggressive here, and now I'm going to eat lots of ninja stars. <laughs> The ninja stars are coming, but first, Claudio moves the guardians onto the objective on the left side of the board for him. With Justin having no deep strikes, he can keep this unit here all game long and score four points, while the bikes start to move up as well as the Wraith Lord, and the lone three wind riders move up on the left side of the board to try to get that objective, while the Shining Spears make a heroic move going right at the Sagatar and Trajan. You guys have to pick these, these craters, the worst one. <laughs> The craters in the middle of the board did not make an easy time for those bikes because they could not stand up straight. Why did you choose craters? Anthony put this board together today. It looks great, but he picked, put the biggest pain in the ass terrain piece. That Those craters are just small enough to not fit those bike bases, so I'm having a really bad time putting those guys there. I'll get you back, Anthony. Don't worry. All right, the bikes are on. Time for Psychic. Let's get to I'm it. I'm going to guide my Shining Spears, my big unit. That goes off. I'm going to use my regular um, D-spell from my Inquisitor mm -hmm. on him. Okay. So, 2d6. Stopped. Okay. Early on here, we see the ability of the Custodes able to stop the Psychic powers. And with the help of a Fate Dice, Claudio uses a Smite. So it's a 6. I just don't want to get denied. So I'm to try to get as high as possible. With the help of that fate dice, Claudio rolls a 12, undeniable there. Take two mortal wounds into that unit. All right, custodians with Empress Chosen have yep. a four plus, feel no pain. That's right. So one wound. He is down to two. Now the Shining Spears are gonna put their Lance Guns into that front unit of the Sagatar. Let's see how much damage they can do. They're gonna need to clear them out because they did a lot of damage in that first turn. And he wounds. That's another AP minus four, two damage. Nope. So two, wound, two damage on that. Some pretty good damage there by the Shining Spears. Now it's time for what Justin said, the Shuriken Ninja Stars going into the Sagatar as well. Let's see if the Shurikens do anything. So these are hitting on threes. They're not guided. And guess what happens with sixes? Oh boy, the I got a four wound. safe. So you're gonna be taking four at minus one, and then you're going to be taking seven at minus three. Start with the four at minus one first. Okay. So I have a three up save because I am awesome. Uh, I only take one. Come on, we got golden armor. We can do this. Minus three. Four plus. So um, one that's, guy's down two. So four. This guy's dead. Mm -hmm. And this guy here 
is down to one wound. A few Sagatar models go down. They are so tough. So that's one automatic. So you're taking two more. One's at minus one and one's at minus three, and they're both two damage. First one's out the four up. He's dead. So only one unit of Sagatar going down after all that firepower. They are very, very tough. And after the first turn, it's 3-3. Three, three. Claudio scoring three for Warp Ritual and Justin scoring three for Grind Them Down. This is going to be a grudge match, it seems. Both of them can deny each other spells. The Custodes are the tougher army, but when the Eldar units start coming in from reserve, can they keep up with the mobility? You're right in front of me right now yeah. with Savas. So I'm actually going to do the second uh, stance of it. Mm -hmm. So basically everyone that has an Auric weapon, which yep. really only applies to these guys here yeah. and Trajan Valoris, they get to double tap. Another great buff from Trajan. He is absolutely one of the best models in the game and worth every single point to take him. Did you intend for him to be outside of um, range for Yeah, you can target him. Go ahead. Just double checking because that's... Yeah. I know what you're doing. You're making me, you're baiting me out with these delicious targets. No, you can hit him. Only okay. for me to, um, only for me to allow you to deep strike somewhere. Shoot him. Shoot my far seers. <sighs> am I going to take the bait? <laughs> I am only being baited right now. This is, this is the Eldar trickery. Shoot that one right there. So I'm not going to shoot him now. <laughs> I know your Eldar trickery. I know what you guys do. My opponent Claudio today has a lot of jet bikes, specifically shining spears. But guess what? I got jet bikes too. It's going to be a joust of the century. Both of those bike units are in range of each other. They can get into close combat. They can shoot each other. It's going to be interesting to see what Justin decides to do. But first, Psychic. You're within 24 inches of my Inquisitor right now. Yep. So I'm going to do Psychic Interrogation. Oh, will you? Yes, I'm going to try to see if that thing about me not shooting him or me, you wanting him to shoot <laughs> me real. to shoot you. You're going to side off some. Okay, go. I'm going to stop him. I pass on a nine. Okay. So Continue I'm going to try to stop that. I might as well with my plus one there. Nope. Add that to the book. Psychic interrogation went off. Eldar psyops. I probed your brain. Probed. Of your farseer. Oh. And it tells me that I need to shoot you. I don't know what he told you, but okay. Yes. He says, Claudio's lying to you. He's, <laughs> you must shoot me. It's the best play. First units Justin shoots into are the Wind Riders. I'm going to do Lightning Fast Reaction. Mm -hmm. So you're minus one to hit. Even with Lightning Fast Reaction, Justin still kills one of those Wind Riders from that unit of three. And the Achilles Dreadnought kills a couple of the Shining Spears with help from the Praetors. But the bigger thing here, the double tapping Sagatar go into the Wind Riders with all the rerolls from Trajan. So I'm hitting on twos. Rerolling ones because Mr. Trajan is beside him. Yep. I'll hit. Rerolling one because Trajan's there. Yep. Nine saves at minus one, two damage each. Minus one on those guys? Yep. Oh my goodness. One, two, so that will leave one guy left. And the Wind Riders get decimated by that. There was just too much firepower and too many rerolls. All you can say is, ouch. So today, before we played, I came in and Anthony's on the battle desk and we were, we were getting ready and he's reading my Eldar book. I thought to myself, he's been rolling really bad lately. This better not translate to my game. He has the aura. He breaks models and now he also breaks dice rolls. Um, one missed, but I'm going to use the Emperor's Chosen reroll. Mm -hmm. Still a miss. Two's to wound, strength yep. eight. Nothing. See why you save your Emperor's Chosen for wounds? That's why. Uh... Justin's going to charge the Achilles Dreadnought into the remaining Shining Spears. If this goes off, it's going to hurt. You can make it. I'm not going to jinx myself. You can do it. You can do it. You don't have CP, but you can do it. I have two CP. Oh, okay. So you should. There you go. Rawr. He goes in. Now the Achilles Dreadnought fights into the Shining Spears. Toughness four. So reroll that. Five uh, saves. Yep. D3 plus three damage on these weapons. Oof. Okay. I'm going to use one because why not? So one of them is going to be saved automatically. I'm going to you the other four are going to go on the Shimmer Shield. They do D3 plus three. I have to do one at a time. So let's see if I roll bad. The first one's good. Second one's good. 
Third one is not good, so you want to see what that does. Four damage. XR close down. Mm -hmm. The last one will go on the regular dude, and he will take, I'm guessing, more than two wounds, right? Yep, you take four. Okay, so he's going to go down two. They are going to consolidate in, obviously, pile in to do their attacks. Mm -hmm. The Shining Spears survive and get to attack back, but more importantly, can Claudio bring back a Farseer? Please, no one. Please, one. Oh! <laughs> Anthony, you're banned from reading my codex. <laughs> Banned from reading my codex. <laughs> the Farseer, Baharoth, and the Shining Spears move into position to shoot and charge, while, as expected, the Dire Avengers come out of the warp gate along with a Cloud Strike from the Falcon, popping out some more Dire Avengers and the Banshees. I can hold that objective by being on top of those crates. Okay. So throw me on top of those crates. <sighs> Thank you and um, they will be able to shoot you. Justin's army is tough as nails, but he is now surrounded, and the Swooping Hawks are coming in to try to get some Nephilim. In that corner over there. You won't be able to fit. Nine inches? Justin, they're coming in. Justin did a great job of screening me out, but I think he forgot or he didn't take into account how small those sweep Swooping Hawks bases actually are, and they that unit squeezed in there. I think I, you're, you're, you're locked down pretty well though. Like you, you got this part of the board yep. locked up. Can you move forward? That's the question. Where did these swooping hawks come from? I thought I screened out completely and now I just suddenly see birds. Just enough. Just enough space. It's a small little bases. That's yeah. why. Claudio throwing doom onto the Praetors. Let's see if Justin can still deny it with that plus one. And you got it. So no doom. No doom. Doom denied. Okay, let's go to the good stuff over there. Let's do the Farseer. Um, I'm going to put everything into Trajan. I have no choice. So first is going to be the Smite. No, there's not, nothing I can do there. And I'm going to put Executioner as well on him. That does go off. I'm going to take it. Okay. D3 Mortal Wounds. Three Mortal Wounds. Uh, he has a five up Funeral Pain. Okay. Or sorry, four up Funeral Pain against Mortal Wounds. Cool. He laughs. Oh man, all these four up saves. Uh, just, cause, just regular custodies things. How many saving throws does he have in him? I, I, if I see another four today, I'm gonna just go outside and scream because Justin can't not make a save. What's going on here? And now the Farseer on the bike's gonna use his Kernis bow along with his Warlord trait to stack some mortals onto Trajan. And let's do his dumb gun. Those all hit, or your minus one, mm -hmm. so. Uh, two go through. I'm going to use two automatic, so you're going to take four mortal wounds. He's going to shrug it like he did last time. Okay. Four up, feel no pain. So take two. The custodies laugh at mortal wounds. That four up save is so good. But the custodies armor is going to be tested again from the Dire Avengers. There's two units, and there's going to be a barrage of fire with Hail of Doom coming. Five at minus... Four and two at minus two. So it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna roll them all at once because they have four, four up. Safe. Let's go. Golden armor. There's no way. One. So that's just enough to take that guy out. Okay. So the Dire Avengers, the first unit only takes one Praetor out. Now it's time for the Falcon to put his shots in as well. Three again. There, these are Shurkin, so one will go through. This misses. These are gonna be winning you on fours again because it's strength six. So the cannons all miss. One at minus. Three. Safe. Okay. And then the ones that matter. Both hit. Both Ooh. wound. These are minus a lot. She goes on your invul. Four ups. They're both good. Both good. The Emperor is with me, not with the Eldar. Baharoth is going to charge into Trajan. And of course, we know what's going to happen after that, as well as the Banshees into that Achilles Dreadnought. They're going to try to take off the last few wounds on right it. Right over there. Exarch has a mirror sword and piercing strike. So it's 10 attacks. Uh, I'm hitting you on threes. You're not doomed. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay. Not the greatest, but it's decent. At minus a lot. It's going to be your invuln. Is that four or three? Three, sorry. So, uh, five ups. He takes two. 
Six up, feel no pain. Nope, he's down two. No more saves, you wasted them all. That was only the Exarch. 27 more attacks from the remaining Banshees takes out that Achilles Dreadnought while Baharoth does a few wounds and blinks away. Come back, Baharoth. We were having so much fun. He's gonna go behind here. Baharoth blinking away. After two, it is a very close game, 21 to 20. Claudio has the minor edge. Of course, Justin is gonna score another eight points at the start of his turn here for holding two objectives. But Assassination is the top secondary for Justin right now. He's got to get more of Psychic Interrogation. All these saves, all these hits, lots of Eldar just dying and laying across me. I feel like I'm gonna win this game. So, Baharoth, sixes explode. Okay. Thank you. Winning you on fours. So, you can make this because you've made them all day. Minus a lot, it's your invulm. I think my captain is just tired, you know? He just wants to sleep. Pass, you, pass, fail. So you make your, see if you can make those saves. You have um, feel no pains, right? But I don't feel no pain. And I may have two CP left, I could, if he dies, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna like do a lot of damage. Back to you. He <sighs> just? Just failed. Okay, just Spending, failed. Taking my last CP, last two CP, yep. so that he gets to fight on death. Okay. Because he didn't fight yet. Into Baharoth, everything. Okay. Uh, twos. Fast forwarding to the bottom of three, Claudio's trying to go at Justin's bunker. It's... So you're wounding, on, you're wounding on twos either way. Spending my reroll for Empress Chosen. Yep. Still one. So four saves, AP a lot. Okay. Damage? Two each. So he's dead. I killed him. I killed Baharoth. None of you have ever done it, but I killed Baharoth. Contrary to popular belief, Baharoth can be killed, and I killed him. Yes, I win. Baharoth going down, that is a very hard thing to do. Justin does it. You know what, Justin, you do win. GG, game over. The Swooping Hawks move in onto another objective and as well as do Nephilim on it. Well, these two have been locked in combat a long time. And Justin shoots his Achilles Dreadnought into the second unit of Warlocks, trying to take them out. Everything's going into them. Machine guns first into your Warlocks, hitting yep. on twos. All hit, mm -hmm. threes to wound. Uh, two saves, AP minus one, one damage. One goes through, All right. one takes a wound. Lasers, uh, twos, both hit, uh, twos to wound. Two saves at AP minus two, three damage. One gets saved, one goes through, so one guy dies. Now back to the two lovebirds, locked in combat for life. You can't kill him. Okay, so the X arc's down to one wound. I have a knife. Okay. I have a big knife. Into you! Stab, stab, stab! One, miss. <laughs> bye bye. Justin tried to break up love. Ah, uh, this is a prolonged combat. Um, my bike is in combat with the Howling Banshee X arc. I think I'm just gonna leave over there. Why won't this Banshee leave me alone? I left you, we fought for two turns and couldn't kill each other. She won't go away, she won't leave. Going into turn four, Claudio begins to shoot the Falcon into some of the remaining units. Trajan finally going down while that last Achilles Dreadnought taking a few wounds. Justin holding down the bunker, but just doesn't have the models left. Yes, sir. You're not minus one or anything? Nope. Nothing crazy? Uh... Two minus a lot. Four ups. No, he's dead. He's dead. Clap for the... <laughs> he survived. Now time to check up on the lovebirds. Oh yeah, still in combat. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I think we have a dead Exarch here, boys. <laughs> we'll see. I think we have a dead Exarch right here. Emperor's Chosen reroll right here. Yeah. This many saves, AP minus three, two damage. I'll just make these. Thank you. And Wait, seriously? Yeah, I have nothing else. Okay. Why not use it? So it's down to one wound. I have a space shank. Oh, you have a space shank again, eh? I got the shank. Miss it, thank you. Like, like I said, they're, locked, the command in, point. they're, locked, they're locked in combat I'm forever. I'm the command point. No, leave them locked in combat for life, please. <laughs> okay. 
Yes! Yes! Locked in combat for life. Okay. It's beautiful. I think these banshees and um, that bike captain are gonna get married after this because they've been in combat for about three turns now. So you might as well just walk off the table hand in hand because they're, n they're going nowhere. My biker left this combat because we don't want to be together anymore. This is a divorce. This is settled. Why are you coming back? Justin, just not a fan of love. He doesn't want to see it happen. But what is happening is the Eldar are pulling away finally at the end of turn four. Claudio starting to make some headway with his warp ritual as well as retrieving Nephilim data for a 78 to 50 point lead. This game was a lot closer than what it looked, but turn five will be a quick one because there's only two models left for the custodies and one is that dreadnought. So the big robot over there, first let's do the big guns. Okay. One, six. So three at minus three, they're so five up. gonna do one damage because you reduce the damage by one. I cry. He cries? I'm crying in person right now. <laughs> Not a single six, he's dead. He shall explode on those birds. Go for it, you can't kill all of them. No. Let me take this last model off the table, please. This is just for spice because he won't die. We could just talk this out, but why? <laughs> when we can kill a model. <gasps> well, he might survive again. He might live. Don't say that. Don't say that. Uh oh. Those are two damage, doesn't matter. Four minus a lot. Let's go one more time. One, one more time for old time's sake. Thank nah. God. It was close. All right, good game. Good game. He comes off the table. A great competitive matchup between our two players. GG. That was, uh, I wouldn't say it's a close game, but it was a very intense game. It was. It was a close game. It got kind of started separating it towards the end, but at the beginning, the first three turns, you were winning. Yeah. Um, but that's how it swings sometimes. I liked, I enjoyed the part where these two, it was basically like they're married. They couldn't stop fighting each other. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to break up. And then you decide to come back again <laughs> to finish it off. <laughs> yeah, they were married for a little bit over there, like three turns fighting in combat. It's yeah. like smacking each other. So that's game, and let's just check the score. I think it was really close. I think I might have edged you at the end there, but GG, good game. Eldar's tough. Like Eldar's your list is tough. very, very tough. Even with the, uh, even with all the godly saves. Yeah. No, Still. It's Tabled. And that's the end of the game. 91-77 is the final score. Claudio pulling away with Grind Them Down, as well as scoring higher with his Warpcraft over Psychic Interrogation, while Justin maxed out on Assassination, but it still wasn't enough because Claudio won with primaries. 91-77. Wow, that was a tough game. I ended up doing better than most people against Claudio, so I'm going to wear that badge with pride. Justin played really well. He, he put his bikes in the right spot. He unloaded into the right units. He took out a lot of models. Like I haven't lost that many uh, models in a long time and they are paper thin. I just hide really well. And uh, Justin did a great job of getting me out of those spots. Uh, unfortunately, I had more board control. I scored more on, on the, um, uh, towards the end of the game. Uh, he didn't have as many models left. He couldn't do much. Um, great game, good rematch. Thanks for joining us once again. We're at Northern Knights Gaming. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like our content. And I'm being told by Anthony to ring the bell, whatever that means. See you next time. We're Northern Knights Gaming. Thanks for joining us on another Monday night matchup. We'll see you next time. He dies like a wet fart. Like a wet fart. Bit of weight in the six, so it always lands on the Yeah. <laughs> he takes the stuff he breaks and puts it there. We're gonna call him Papa Schmurgle. Papa Schmurgle. Okay. He's taking, um, what are they called again? Emperor's Chosen. Emperor's Chosen. Three, two, one. Keep going backwards. Yeah, everything. It's, not a, it's not a rocket launch. One, two. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Rack it up. If you want Justin canceled, please call 1-800. Okay. <laughs>